T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, on December 1st, Armenia's first domestically made satellite, Hayasat-1, was launched by a SpaceX rocket at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The project is a collaboration with Bosnik Space Research Laboratory and the Center for Scientific Innovation and Education. CSIE's Technical Director of Space Programs, Masis Kumrigian, gathered with supporters at Vega Vineyard and Farm to watch the launch. You would expect uh, for me to feel very emotional about it, and I will. But I, I, not at this moment. Right now, I'm still in um, engineering mode, in management mode. I'm thinking of all the risks, all the to-dos. Um, I was thinking about the, the path it took to get here. Kumrigan says the satellite will provide a demonstration of an end-to-end -end system between space and Armenia and serve as an experimental navigation payload, which means to determine the position and orientation of a spacecraft or other object. Although it may not be this satellite that does it, Kumrigan sees Armenia's involvement in space as a means to develop strategic positions as a landlocked country. I think if we want to secure our future, we have to look up. We have to look up to air and to space, and we need to dominate those domains. And when we do, we'll secure our future. So I think having realized that and defining that as one of the problems is that we can't see what's happening. We don't know what's happening on the ground. Uh, having air and space dominance is going to help us understand. Since this is Armenia's first domestically developed satellite, logistical challenges such as securing funding and importing satellite components also came about. Despite the logistical challenges, Kumrigan is proud of his team in Armenia for being resourceful. In terms of Armenia's strategy for space, Kumrigan says it's still under development. But they shouldn't decide in the vacuum, right? They should consult uh, experts uh, locally and internationally to make sure that the space strategy uh, brings value, brings strategic value to the country and at the same time it's feasible, right? We can't talk about space stations and, and going to Mars and things like that, but we can talk about what are the needs of the country. If we want to have a place in the future, we must aim for the moon and the stars. In a few moments, we will take our first small step into a new age, the space age. And by doing so, we are helping to ensure that this small tribe of unimportant people will not be doomed to the pages of history.